Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Luscious mod. So as you may have already noticed, uh, we got some some variation here in our grass colors. And that's it. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. No, just kidding. That is it though. 50% uh, of it actually because the leaves change color too. But uh, yeah, so what we can see here is depending on the... I believe it's the heat and humidity values that are used by MapGen. The grass color is changed. And again, same holds true for leaves. Um, we just haven't seen any leaves yet. It looks like some of the plants here as well. So let's, let's do a fun little experiment. We'll dig the grass from here. Oh, come on. I wanted to actually get the grass. Thank you. Plant the grass there. It looks like that. So we'll plant it over here looks like this so the grass is changed as well and I'll actually I'll plant that back because I, I don't what do I want some messy old grass for so how this works is it does uh, some kind of node coloring using the param2 field so here we can see we must be getting to a either a drier or a colder temperature and as we get up higher and higher the grass turns from green to uh, kind of this uglyish gray and the grass turns to uh, well an ugly gray and um, to be quite honest ain't nobody got time to walk around so we are going to just do some uh, some smooth pitch flying with cinematic mode turned on we'll turn the HUD off because ain't nobody got time for a HUD in a video like this and uh, we'll see how it changes the grass colors and you can see down there the grass is a little different color sand isn't touched at all so no point in even looking at the beach we'll uh we'll head over this way and this is a little too slow so we're gonna, gonna pick the speed up here a little bit and yeah so you can see the color changes let's, uh, let's swing on over by these trees see if we can tell the difference in the leaves um could you tell could you tell the difference in the leaves i sure hope so because i could we're actually going to pause here for station identification. Oh wait, that's uh, that's a different show. What we're gonna do is, you know, what? I'm just gonna place this someplace. I don't know where though. Um, here we go. So we'll place. I should have grabbed the second one while I was at it. It's hard to demo this when I only have one piece of one piece of leave. One piece of leave. Does that even make sense? Problem. Oh. No, I don't want a sapling. I'll tell you, the one time when you don't want to collect the the not normal drops, I don't see a difference there at all. Okay, we can see the difference. Uh, can we? I feel like we can. Um, you know, we're going to take this back. Good, we got both. Let's fly over here and try there and there. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I can't tell the difference, but there is a difference. It's just a little hard to tell. Um, so this was the other 50%. Now the major uh, caveats, is that how you pronounce the word? I think so. To this um, will be will be displayed shortly. I just need to punch this tree down. And uh, I didn't give myself creative or give, so I can't just grab a diamond pickaxe or a normal axe, uh, diamond axe. So we're just gonna punch it by hand because, you know, we got we got plenty of time. And for some reason I can't go up, but that's fine. Okay, I was lied to. I was entirely lied to. The form topic says that leaf decay doesn't work. Clearly it does. I have been had. All right. Well, let's let's uh, let's turn this on. Okay. So here we can see default pine needles parameter two is one sixteen. Now it's using some kind of a a color table thing. I don't really understand hardware coloring at all, but it's using some kind of a image and hardware coloring. So theoretically, if we place this and this, this is uh, parameter two eighty six, and this is one hundred one. So they should be slightly different colors. Um, it looks like this one might be a little richer in color than that one. 
Um, let's continue on in our exploration because it's not just grass and pine needles that are changed. It's also um, other other things. Wow, this is really slow. I don't remember where they are though. Um, the savannas, the dry dirt. I was just over in a place where I had it, and um, now I'm kind of lost. But we can see up here, these pine needles are definitely a different color. You can see the grass here. Oh, this is great contrast and whatchamacallit, a very, um, what, what would this color be? This is a very saturated, very desaturated, I guess, color. Man, I, I don't know color theory, like, at all, so I can't really, uh, can't vouch for the accuracy of that statement, but I think that's right. Ah, here, this is what we was, this is what we was looking for. So as we make our way into this, um, savanna, that's the word I was looking for, You'll see that the uh, grass kind of turns more more orangey, yellowishy. Is that? I mean, it it kind of looks like vomit. Okay, if you have vomit that looks like that, you probably really need to go to a doctor's because vomit should not look like that. Just saying. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a physician or a or a doctor or anything. Nothing I say should be taken as medical advice. But for real though. You should see somebody about that because it's probably not healthy. Um, so the acacia leaves have their color changed as well. The um, just the normal old, normal old leaves here, same thing. Um, bushes they change. The grass changes. Um, the the sand and the what is this Merriman grass? That doesn't, but your normal grass does. The uh, what is it? What is this called? dry dirt with grass that doesn't change color at all um but this mod is from november 22nd 2017 i don't know if that was the last update but that's when it was first posted and uh, i don't think it really had super many updates after that but i'm probably shooting myself in the foot saying that um also this mod strongly recommends that you do not use it in an existing world um because the the humidity and heat information is only available during map gen, I guess. I'm not a map gen expert. So if you use it in an already existing world, any place, any portion of the world that's already been generated, so any map gen that's run, won't be affected by this mod. And anything that has not yet been generated will. Um, I think that's all that happens. I don't know. Um, if you were going to add it to an already existing world, Again, strongly recommended not to for the form topic. I would uh, recommend making a backup of your world first in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong that you can revert your changes and not destroy your world. But that's just me, and what do I know? I'm just some, some random nobody on YouTube that makes videos. And um, honestly, that's, that's pretty much this mod. Oh, actually, let, let's show one last thing. Um, because this, this might be... Uh, something worth pointing out. Of course, when you dig dirt, you get dirt. So uh, that's kind of uh, impossible to point out. But as the grass spreads, it will keep the color of the surrounding. So yeah, um, but that's kind of hard to demo because I can't actually dig the, the node. And I can't give myself a node with a parameter already. I don't think I can anyways. So yeah, that's that's gonna wrap this one up. Uh, thanks for watching. Links all on my website, as always, and the uh, the link to my website is in the video description, as always. This was actually a it wasn't a hundred percent requested, but like ninety seven and a half percent requested. And then 2.5% like, oh, hey, have you seen the super cool mod? Like, put in such a way where it didn't explicitly come across as a mod review request. But if you kind of read between the lines, you could be like, oh, this this is a mod review request. I don't remember who, uh, who brought this to my attention, though. 
so I don't know who to thank. But uh, yeah, as always, if there's any mods you want me to review, there is a there's a little form on my website that you can use to request mod reviews. And yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.